Well guys, just heading on down to the old Princess Auto. Um, I remembered what I wanted to get from the other day. Yeah, the other day I went all the way down there and totally blanked on what I wanted to get, you know. But yeah, I'm going to try to get myself a hole saw kit. Um, I'm going to try to get myself a doorknob installation kit and uh, some shop light bulbs for, of course, the shop, right? Now you can use normal household bulbs in the shop, but I find they break a little bit too easily. I don't know the shop bulbs, I'm not sure if they're coated with something or made out of thicker glass, but they seem to last a little longer. But guys, you know, as I said, we're just going down to the old Princess Auto here and, uh, you know, seeing if we can find bargains. So, uh, you know, here we are. So we'll uh, catch you all on the inside. So guys, here we are at the old Princess Auto. We're just going to make a run on inside here. And uh, I got, uh, I don't know, a battery tester here that I want to return. I'm not, I bought it for the Sunfire when I was having trouble with it, but never used it. And there's really no point in keeping it around. So guys, yeah, here we go. Well guys, here we are down here, uh, looking at the centrifugal clutches again for the old uh, redneck uh, lawn chair project. And nope, they're not on sale yet. So let's keep uh, wondering. I wonder if they got a cheap tap and die set here. Just taking a tour of the uh, surplus section here, guys. HDMI cables and assorted goodies here. <clears throat> and my hole sockets. And there you go guys. Wouldn't these look good on the redneck uh, lawn chair? Disc brakes and everything, man. <laughs> all your trailer goodies and all your lights and stuff like that. Wonderful trailer jacks, trailer uh, trailer tires, and stuff like that. my favorite style. The uh, clearance style is like my favorite, man. It's uh, tubing vendors and uh, air compressors. Generators. Oil 
filter wrenches, no fish to get easy. But yeah, man, they got like everything here. I don't know guys, I'm coming up uh, empty on the tap and die set. Yeah man, I don't know where it is. Ooh. Well, looks like I found some guys. They're looking to be about forty-four dollars. Well, that's, uh, thought maybe I'd uh, be cheaper alternative than returning them handles, but don't look like it's going to work out that way. <laughs> Well guys, that's pretty much it. I got my doorknob kit. Um, they don't seem to have my bulbs here anymore. I guess I'll have to go to Walmart for them. Well guys, there we go. Made her through the old Princess Auto. Got me that uh, lock installation kit. Uh, you know, as I said there, looking for the tap and die. I thought, um, you know, they ordered me in some uh, T-handles for the topper but they ordered me in ones without thread. I thought maybe I could like, you know, save the return and re-thread them. But, uh, you know, I'm not putting out $44 to, uh, to save, uh, you know, the return because the handles were only like 34 something or 40 something. So guys, you know, I got the installation kit here. You know, it does both wood and metal, so I'm not quite sure how, you know, good it's going to be. But guys, you know, sorry for the mess in the truck, but uh, it's been quite the week. But guys, I guess I'll have to stop by the uh, Topper Parts store here after work and exchange these handles and get new ones ordered in. But guys, I guess I'll end the video here.